the circle of life and I forgot the lyrics. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am joined by a very special guest here, Mr. Killowin. Mr. Killowin here is a long five foot furby that I recently uh, furry manced into this long body right here. So it's been a long life recent dream of mine to always own a long boy. Actually I always wanted to own a furby but I actually never had a chance to. What's that? Pick me up! It's my Furby! Furby loves you love and touch. Tickle me! So when I saw these things floating around the internet, curse abomination little creatures, I've decided I need to make one of my own. And what better yet is to make a long one. So people are really creative with these. You can, If you look up like long Furbies on the internet, you'll see tons of different ones floating around. There's ones with wings, there's legs, there's small ones. People are very creative when it comes to that and I actually want to make more of those in the future. But for now, I'm going to just start simple and just test it out and make a, a long one as I always wanted and it, it came out very nicely and I love him. So originally I bought like um, a small beanie furby just to use the, the eyes and the face for. This was like last year I bought it but I didn't get to start on this until like uh, this month of May. But yeah, uh, when I bought the, the beanie I didn't know that the face thing, the face his little facey right here. You can actually already buy it pre-made. People actually 3D printed it or made it out of resin. They pre uh, they sell it on Etsy and you can just actually just purchase it and paint it and customize it how you want and then build your own Furby from here. So no need to uh, do what I did, <laughs> buy an actual Furby and took it apart, dissect it and take his eyes out. But yeah. So those um, those uh, pre-made ones are actually called vegan Furby. It makes sense because you actually don't have to uh, murder a real one in order to make yourself a, a long boy. But I did that and it was quite the experience and but I am happy how he turned out. I thought since it's my first time building it, it was also my first time uh, making the pattern for it, I thought I'll just go simple for now and I can just go wild and the next uh, next time I'll make it. I'm pretty sure I'll be making more because I managed to rope in a few friends to come do some Furby uh, mancing party with me after we all get our shots. Yeah! So I think that's the first thing we're gonna do is uh, get together and figure out what kind of Furby we want to longify. And every witch needs a familiar and mine just happens to be a long Furby. But yeah, so let's get to the process and seeing how he came to be. Ooh. To start the dark harvesting of Furby Mansing, we first need to plan out the patterns and the designs. Since it was my first summoning, I decided to go for a more basic look and work with what I had in my fabric stash. Of course, you'll need a body of a Furby to complete this ritual. As I mentioned previously, there are already pre-made faceplates that you may purchase and use instead. For the body, I'm going to pattern out some panels in order to make it more tube-like. So we have the outer front, the center belly, the side center, the bottom circle, and the back. I'm patterning out mine like this because there is a look that I'm going for so it varies with your preference when it comes to the design. Since I'm going basic with only two colors, I think this works perfectly for simple longifying Furby. I also have the ears, hair, and little feet. The back panel will have a center back seam which is where the stuffing will go in after everything is sewn together. I'm using some old printed papers I had to pattern out my long boy because I didn't want them to go to waste. I taped it up so that it's enough to draw out the pattern. Since my Furby is going to be 5 feet tall, I made the paper just long enough for that length. After figuring out the pattern base and measurements, I started drafting out the shape onto the paper. I'm making Killian's body circumferences 16 inches. Each pattern piece will range from 2 to 4 inches so that it will add up to the size that I want it to be. Aside from the center back, all the seam allowances will be a quarter inch. The back will be half inch because I'll be hand sewing it shut later after stuffing the body with polyfill. With that, all the patterns are cut out and ready for the fabric cutting. The fabrics I'm using are leftovers I had from previous projects and commissions. I'm using a black mink, faux fur, and blanket fabric to build my boy Killian. Then I started cutting out all the pieces to the fabric. 
I'm somewhat glad I'm not making the entire thing out of 5 feet of fur as my first because I would have a lot of shedding. When cutting faux fur, you don't want to cut directly on the fur because that will cause massive shedding and a blunt edge. You want to cut it at the backing of the fabric and pelt part. This way, all the hair stays intact and the backing will pull apart cleanly. You can see that I'm just snipping at the under part and avoiding cutting through the fur as possible. Also, keep in mind the direction of the nap as well. You wouldn't want one side of the fur to be going down and the other side going upwards. Alright, so now for the most important part of the process is transferring its eye onto the long body. So for that, I'm going to be doing a little surgery and by that, I'm going to be dissecting the eyes. I don't know why it, I'm getting that nervous feeling in my stomach. Uh, you ready? I had to clean it up a bit since there were extra skin parts wedged into the faceplate, but the eyes were successfully removed from its original body. Don't forget to take care of the body and make sure to clean up the mess. With all the eyes ready and the fabric pieces cut out, it is time to Frankenstein him together and preparing him to longify. I sew the front parts together first. Then I put together the ears, feet, and fur. I need to attach the feet and ears onto the front first. After the front body was put together, I attached his face. I didn't get to film this part, but I added on the hair piece to the center of the side slash middle fabric piece and sewed the center together. Then it was sewn onto the back side. Then the back and middle piece was attached onto the front. I sew the center back and left a gap about a few inches because that's where I'll be flipping it inside out and stuffing it after. With all the pieces sewn together, I attached the bottom circular part which is the last part of the body. After he is sewn all together, I flipped him inside out through the center of the back gap. And here he is, all assembled and put together and ready for the final process of being stuffed the filling out of. Here's little ears, little mohawk, and little feet. Now, for the ritual of stuffing. I could have made them firmer, but I didn't have enough stuffing since this alone took 20 ounce bag of polyfill and that was all I had at the time. I think the 32 ounce bag would have been just the right amount for a 5 feet long Furby. After he was stuffed with a life and a sew, I closed him up with a ladder stitch or also known as the invisible stitch. After his stitches, I added on the finishing touch of a bow tie because he needs to look dashing to charm everyone and show them all that there is nothing to fear about him. My long boy is finally complete and that is how I became a Furby Mancer. I had so much fun making him and it's probably one of the most cursed things I made so far. And that's how I made my long boy. <laughs> and that's how you become a Furby Mancer and summon your own long boy Furby here and yeah, longify him basically. But yeah, uh, this was a really fun project. It's something I wanted to do for quite a while now, but I haven't had the chance to, but now I have. I love it so much, I can't wait to make more, so we'll see how those turn out as well. But yeah, uh, if you want to see more cursed content like this in the future Stitch Witch and Crafting Sewing Journey, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. I actually do have some more projects coming up, but I need to work on editing and putting those together still, so yeah, uh, stay around, um, especially if you want to see more of this little guy, this little, this long guy here. To make um, special appearances in my videos. But yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!